Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is a summer dress outfits video. So I'm sharing five summer dress outfits for summer, obviously. Before we get started, I wanted to do a little bit of self promo here on my channel. And just letting you know that if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then I would absolutely love for you to subscribe and be a part of my little family here on YouTube. We are definitely on the smaller side, but I love having all of you here, so thank you so much if you are already subscribed, but if you're not already subscribed, if this is the first video of mine that you come across, then please do subscribe. It's completely free to. I share loads of fashion and styling inspo here on my channel, and next week on my channel is going to be summer haul week, so I'm going to be sharing brand new haul videos for summer inspiration and summer styling. So if that's your kind of thing, if you want to see more from me, then please do subscribe. Today's video is all about the summer dresses. I don't know about you, but for me in the summer, dresses are 100% my go-to. I just think they're so easy to throw on. They're great in warmer weather and they're so easy to style in a variety of different ways. So I absolutely love a summer dress. And for that reason, I thought it'd be really nice to just share some of the outfits that I will be wearing and that I have been wearing for summer this year. So I've got a selection of dresses. I've got a midi, a maxi, and a selection of mini dresses as well. A selection of prints, patterns, colors, a lot going on. So hopefully this will help you out for some summer inspiration. If you are in need for some outfit inspiration, or if you're not entirely sure how to style some of your summer dresses, then hopefully this video Video will come in handy. Starting off with what I have to say is probably my favorite color to wear throughout the summer and that is red. So I've got this gorgeous red dress from a brand called 12 Stories. It's got adjustable straps. It's this gorgeous like just kind of flowy yet fitted red midi dress for the summer which is just perfection in a dress if you ask me. I wasn't entirely sure which way to go with this dress because I definitely think you can either dress it up or dress it down. So I was toying between the two and in the end I just decided to go for smart casual which is slap bang in the middle. So the smart element for this outfit was definitely the shoes. I wanted to go for something quite dressy but still very easy and quite like casual to wear, still very wearable basically. So I went for my two-tone sling back heels. These are from June. I've styled and worn them so much this year. I am absolutely loving them. So when it came to the more casual element, it was my handbag. I went for what has got to be a summer staple within my style and it's a straw basket bag. The reason why I paired this bag with this outfit was because number one, it's really big, which I love. If you watched my last video, I mentioned just how much I love a large straw bag for the summer. This one fits the brief perfectly. And the reason I thought it worked really nicely with this outfit is because it ties everything together. So obviously it's got this beautiful wicker effect, but it's also got elements of white leather there and that ties in really nicely with the white from the shoes. So I thought that was a really nice attention to detail. Inside my giant summer bag, I have a jumper. It's always good to have a lightweight knit on hand just because you never know if it might get a little bit chilly if you are near a beach maybe on holiday or if you're in a city like London, for example, where it does typically get colder in the evenings, it's always great to have a layering piece. I just have a cream jumper which I threw on over my shoulders and even that I think gives such a chic element to this outfit. It really does transform it. Without the jumper on obviously it's quite nice for daytime but you've got the jumper over your shoulders and it helps keep you a little bit warm but it also looks really great and obviously if you do start to get much colder you can pop on the jumper over the top and it will look just as nice. So love this outfit. I thought it was a very nice outfit idea for summer. Outfit number two. I've got more of a maxi style dress. It's not quite floor length on me, but I'm quite tall. I'm around 5'9". So if you are shorter than me, this is very likely going to be more of a maxi length. So that is just something to bear in mind. But I love this dress. I love the gingham. I mean, 
Gingham is such a staple for spring and for summer. It comes around every single year. I don't think there's ever been a year where gingham hasn't been popular or hasn't been trendy. Honestly, if you don't have some gingham in your wardrobe and you're looking to incorporate some sort of print, I really think that gingham is the way forward. It just works so well, so easy to style. It's actually got quite city vibes. I do think this could easily be styled for more of like a, a beach or a holiday scenario, but because I am in London, I'm in the UK, I live in a city, I thought it would actually be quite nice to share just how easily it it is to style a summer dress into something that is more city appropriate. So I paired this dress with my Vasia trainers. These are the all white vegan leather, which I adore. I really love these trainers. I wear them so much. They're really simple. They are easily the most simple and plain trainers within my shoe collection, but that's what I really love about them. It just means that I grab them so much more when there's an outfit like this one that I'm wearing where I've got the print going going on. It's also got that little bit of lace inserts as well. I wouldn't really want any shoes that were too busy or too over the top. When it came to the bag for this outfit, I thought a crossbody would work the best with this look because I feel like the way I've dressed this is definitely more of a casual outfit. So I just wanted a crossbody bag, something that would leave me hands free. For me, this outfit is a really casual one. It's the kind of thing I would throw on to do some errands throughout the day, for example. And so that's why I just loved how it looked with a crossbody bag. This is my black black crossbody from Carvella, which I wear time and time again. It's absolutely an just a staple within my collection. I absolutely adore this. Outfit number three is a gorgeous wrap style mini dress. This is from And Other Stories and it is beautiful. They do this style of dress in a variety of different prints, so definitely worth having a look if you like this kind of thing, if it's your kind of style. Definitely have a look online because it's just stunning. Like, it's made really beautifully. It's just a really gorgeous dress, in my opinion. So it's a beautiful wrap style. You can adjust this to fit you perfectly. And I just feel like the way that this one is made, and even the print of it, is actually quite smart looking, in my opinion. So what I did with this dress was definitely dress it up a little bit more. Probably one of the more dressed up looks, in my opinion. But I think this is really beautiful for, like, brunch maybe with the girls if you've got an afternoon tea with the girls or something like that just something quite nice I feel like this is the perfect outfit for that so shoe wise I went for my strappy sandals these are from Primark I got them a good few years ago but really love them I've actually been wearing them so much particularly this summer I find that whenever I don't quite know what shoes to wear these seem to be the ones that I end up gravitating towards I just think they smarten up a look they're still a really nice summer sandal and because they're white they're very very easy to style. I personally really like white footwear in the summer, you'll probably tell throughout this video. And then for my bag, I went for a fave of mine, which is something you've also seen a lot, a lot, a lot on my channel. It's just this gorgeous wicker bag, but more of a, a small one, like quite compact. And then it's got the white leather flap as well, which I really love. And similarly to outfit number one, I suppose the bag and the shoes actually match quite nicely, which clearly is something I like doing with my outfits. So yeah, I thought this was quite a nice look, as I said, for brunch maybe, for lunch with the girls, just for a nice day date. On to outfit number four, and with this outfit, I think you can instantly tell that my mind transported me somewhere else. I was on holiday when planning this outfit. This is definitely summer holiday vibes, a beach somewhere, somewhere with a pool, anywhere hot, basically. The dress is from ASOS, it's new in. It's this really nice floral print, although I will be honest, I'm not 100% sold on the pattern, so I really want to know what you think about it because sometimes I look at it and I'm like oh this is beautiful I love it but then sometimes when I wear it I'm like does it look like I've got my grandma's curtains on or something like that do you know what I mean like let me know what you think in the comments down below I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on this kind of print and whether you think it's a vibe or not really let me know in the comments down below I paired this with my Teva sandals which I am loving I'm really loving experimenting with them actually and styling them a little bit more and just getting to grips with them. They are quite out there for me. They're not necessarily my go-to style. They're somewhat out there. So I'm experimenting with how to style them. And because I paired them with this outfit, that's the reason why I think they are just so perfect for holiday. Because I 
think for me, Teva sandals are probably going to be more of a holiday shoe, and I actually think that they look really cool with an outfit like this. Because these are in the colour sandstone, I think they're so easy to style, and they just sort of blend in completely to an outfit, which is what I really love about them. And because no summer outfit is complete without a basket bag, I've got yet another basket bag for this outfit. This is my Marge one, which I absolutely adore. I think it's such a great one. But do you see what I mean when I said that this was the kind of look that I can envision myself wearing on holiday? Like, literally, throw on this outfit. You've got all your SPF and all your essentials in your bag. You've got the comfy shoes on. You've got a really nice just dress that you can easily throw on over your bikini or over your swimsuit. And you are literally, I mean, you could be in Spain, you could be anywhere wearing this outfit. I really love it. Even in the UK, Okay, if you are heading to a beach or if you're going to a seaside town or something and you just want to emit those seaside vibes, I feel like this look does that perfectly. And for my final outfit, outfit number five is for me personally my go-to summer outfit, whether I'm on holiday, whether I'm in the UK, if I want to look like it's summer outside or if I want to feel like it's summer outside, for me it's got to be a white dress. I really think that white dresses are just the epitome of summer in my opinion. I think of summer and I think of summer style, I instantly think a white dress, whether it be a little white dress, whether it be a midi white dress for example, it's just something that I absolutely adore. I find it so easy to style and just so beautiful in the summer. It's also great if you do have a tan, great to accentuate a tan because a white always looks really good in contrast to a tanned skin. You didn't think I'd film a summer outfits video without including a pair of espadrille wedges, at least I hope you didn't think that. Espadrille wedges, 100% a go-to for mine, particularly in the city or if I'm ever dressing up or something, I really think that espadrille wedges are my go-to. I just think they I just think they look so great with any outfit. I've got quite a large selection, but I honestly love them all. I just think so easy to style, easy to really switch up a look as well and dress it up a little bit while still being casual, which is something that I really love. So these are just my cream espadrille wedges. You've probably seen them styled a lot throughout the past few months, so you know that I do really love them. For my bag, I went for another quite large one, but this is more of a canvas style bag, which I really like because I think it makes it a little bit more casual. It's another one of those bags that you can literally just throw in everything and the kitchen sink. Like it will carry all your summer essentials with ease. But I like that it makes this outfit look a little more daytime ready. So the fact that I paired this gorgeous dress, which I don't think I mentioned, is from a brand called Forever New. I like the difference between the casual bag and a more like dress up shoe, I suppose. And then the cherry on top has got to be the hat. I went for my straw hat. I've had this hat for years. It comes back every single year. I don't think there's ever been a summer where this hat hasn't been restocked on ASOS. It's just one of those great items that is always, always, always in stock because it never goes out of fashion. But I really think that this completely finishes off this look. Like, I think hat on, hat off are two different looks and I'm just loving it with a hat on. It definitely made me think of summer. So this is another outfit that I really love. Kind of smart casual vibes but I can definitely see myself wearing this in a day trip maybe, on holiday somewhere, you know, somewhere where it's sunny and somewhere where you're just having a good time. So there you have it. Those were five summer dress outfits. Let me know which outfit was your favourite in the comments down below. One, two, three, four or five. I would love to hear your feedback feedback on these outfits and whether you would wear any of these summer dress outfits, let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video and for more styling inspiration, then please do give it a thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed it and I know you'd like to see more of these kind of videos. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, to hit that subscribe button. As I mentioned at the start of this video, next week is going to be summer haul week here on my channel, so make sure you don't miss it. Check back daily so that you don't miss any of my haul videos and I hope you're looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to filming those. I really hope you will enjoy a summer haul week. I've never done one before. As always, a very big thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye!